Okay, um, looking at number 38 in section 3-4, they show, they have a figure, it looks like a sine curve, doesn't it? And it looks like this. And all they want you to do is sketch the graph of the velocity as a function of time. And so you should recognize that when you have horizontal tangents, the velocity function is going to be um, zero. Okay. Now, when the function is increasing, your velocity needs to be positive, and then when it's decreasing, your velocity needs to be negative. So you should be able to kind of think, okay, here's a positive. Now it's going to be exactly zero at that moment, and then it's going to be decreasing and negative, and then it's increasing again here, so it needs to be positive. So it looks something like that. 